All right, so we talked about a lot in the last video about why female care is more common, and there's a lot of different theories for that, but let's talk about why males could possibly be more common. And this is gonna be mostly for fish, not only in fish, but often in fish. So paternal fish are territorial by nature. They typically map out a territory. They, they'll they spend a lot of time you know, clearing out rocks and moving things around. It really depends on the type of fish. And so the cost of paternal care is actually pretty low compared to the fact that they're already very territorial. They've already set up a place to attract females. So this actually makes them even more attractive to the female because he'd spent all this time trying to make up a territory to woo me. He can raise the children there as well. A lot of fish will grow throughout their life. And so parental care takes away energy from future growth and thus fertility. And so for the males, they have to defend the territory and they don't lose much additional growth by being parental. For females, they lose a lot of growth and fecundity. That's the ability to have offspring if they had to care for the offspring. Female fish do not have time to sit around and raise a brood of fish usually. It's not to say they won't, but they usually are not going to do that. It takes a lot to produce eggs. So in, fe in fish, you see the disparity there a lot more. The females produce the eggs, the males typically do the parental care. It's not always that case as any rule in science is never broken, but you know, it's never absolute rather, excuse me. Every rule seems to be broken in science because the rules are written by humans. They're not written by nature. So males do more parental care, not necessarily because they gain more out of it, but because they have less to lose. And just to keep no, I'm going to keep going. So um, let's introduce the concept of parent offspring conflict. And so this was brought up by Trivers, and this comes from parental investment theory or parent offspring conflict. And this has to do with weaning. So eventually, your children have to grow up, they have to leave the proverbial nest. We call that fledge. We, they have to, you know, stop being nursed, they have to they have to become adults, they have to find their own food, and that you may have to make them disperse. They may need to go elsewhere to find mates or to find a home, or maybe they're gonna stick around and help you out for a while. But a lot of times the um, for an offspring, if you look at it from an offspring's perspective, the ideal world would be for mom or dad to keep providing food for me, providing a home for me, and doing this, and it's just, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because eventually the parents need to probably raise another set of offspring. They've got their own lives to live, for lack of a better term. So the parents don't want to do this forever, and there's some sort of conflict that develops. The more parental care there is, the greater this conflict happens. And it's kind of a weird theory, in my opinion. But the truth of the matter is, and the reason why we're even talking about this, is that there is a point where the mother has to wean, reject, fledge the offspring. She ha They have to grow up at some point. And what are some examples of how this goes about? And so we're going to take a break here and look at some videos of this. So it talks about lion dad care. So it shows how a lion dad actually cares for the offspring and is trying to make sure they have the resources they need to be successful. Owls, uh, this is a snowy owl and it's called a lemon, uh, lemming, um, and so it is feeding the chicks and you can see it says the chicks need at least like two of these a day. So not only has dad got to eat or mom, because I'm sure mom and dad are both raising the chicks in this case more than likely, um, they have to feed themselves. They also have to feed the offspring. And the offspring in birds seem to be very greedy. That might just be me being a little biased as I put together clips for you for this. But like you see this on the right, here's a peregrine falcon. And it's interesting looking at the comments for this video. Um, apparently this is a fledgling that has stolen a pigeon from his sibling and is basically sitting on top of it and won't give it up. One person says they feel like the mom wants the pigeon for herself, but there's also the thought of maybe mom's just trying to be mom and is like, let me feed you. And it's like, no, this is my food. And it's like, yeah, I know I'm going to feed you, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird. It, it's a, but you can see here that there is some conflict between parent and offspring, which fits the theme of what we're talking about. And that's why I'm putting this clip in. I'll see you after the click.